Michelle, you're looking very nice. Very nice. But do you think he needs one more thing? Yeah. Yes, he does. He needs one more thing. Let me see. Here we go. Let me see. Here it is. Right oh there. Oh, my God. So here we are at day three at the Brick Fair. Uh, we got a little bit of a kind of late start, but it's what happens. We're able to make it today, and we are, well, we are tired, tired because, you know, Brick Fair is tiring, but we have made it. Hooray. With the final day of private being upon us, I still have to get uh, all the sick figs as best onto two face plates as possible, basically. Uh, we've got a sneak peek of the new sick figs, but you know, you have to wait for Sunday for to see them completely. Uh, the Portrait Studio mock is looking pretty good. Uh, the, we still need to get some tiles for the Warm Assist Studios uh, and a few little things like that. And uh, for the Brick Fair, it's pretty, it's, I mean, the building itself is done. You just need to add more people and have them kind of gather around a little bit more. So, yeah. A little arrow somewhere. Oh, I'm not on. Is there a little pad on there? My finger was so right in there. You don't get anything for whatever reason. This is the Compass House, and this is the Brick House. That's where uh, Kevin and I work, in the Brick House. This is just a model that's in the shop. Some of you have seen that have been there before. Chickens. <laughs> These are floppy haircuts. On Saturday, I got a little too close on there last time. Those are actually for the fumes, that the glue that we use. Uh, this is our, our uh, some of our big storage area. Those, those bins are all filled with one type of element, one color, one size. Here's the trays that we work from. Now, if you're doing a lot of different colors, you're working from these smaller trays. If you're working with uh, one particular size and color, we have big bins that we just fill up. There's a blue bin. These are some of the other models that we've done in the past. Some little models. Uh, Mark Rowe, who's a designer, and uh, there's baseball players, and some of these are about this. That's his, he's really good big ones too, but his skill are the small models. Uh, Cam Newton, there's uh, uh, a T-Rex, there's uh, Kobe Bryant was there. These are all designer trays. This one here is all the minifigures, mini uppers, all heads, filled with heads. Wouldn't you like this to be your house? Is it this? I just, oh my goodness, I miss it so much since I don't have it anymore. These are uh, some of the crates. There's my son Chris, he's pushing uh, uh, Iron Man into the crate. So it has rollers on the back so those, uh, uh, the aluminum base can just roll right in. They're all jig right for that model right there. So that's a little tour of the model shop. So it's about 5, 5.30ish and uh, I just got the, the Sig Fig. Uh, layout all finished up pretty much like one or two mini figures that I still need to add but that'll be out tonight tomorrow kind of thing and they've already started to put up these like last year it was chains you know real chainy stuff but this year they're using some kind of more metal like rods which I think is much more sturdy and it will keep people you know kind of far away and not able to kind of lean forward for all the stuff so yeah.
depending on the light in the room, the black and white look a little different. Okay. And then I'll go to the edge. And north, imagine north stars up that way. So it's going to get the north pole pointed to the north star. Be winter, and then when it's coming through spring, the sunbeams are hitting them, you know, strongest at the equator. Uh huh. And then over on red, that's summer, and the sunbeams will be hitting, you know, the northern hemisphere where we live. Uh huh. So we're right about here, right now. Yeah. And then the fall again is hitting the equator. And the North Pole pointed to the North Star. So here you can see there's more hitting down South America, Africa, Australia. Yeah, the Southern Hemispheres. Yep. Yeah. So. I've got to get it so the Earth and the Moon move a little faster. I don't have the Moon rotating. Oh, up. going around. Okay. I got to change the gearing. You can see some of the gears in there. Yeah. So that was the Brick Fair logo. Hopefully it will be rebuilt uh, for the public phase. And basically uh, that's kind of it for today. We're just kind of putting final touches on the pieces. And then they'll be, um, and then we'll head out back home. Basically, uh, yeah, this is kind of the last private day, so a lot of stuff is being uh, chained up or whatever these metal bar things are right here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for today's vlog. I got a few autographs from people. I may stop and get Rick Apocalypse's autograph if he's, you know, available by the time we leave, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this vlog. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's finally a time at vlog where I get, actually get to do an outro. So, yeah, bye. If you enjoyed this, why not check out some of my other videos? Okay, bye.